Hi, my name is Angus and I'm an environmental engineer. Now, most people don't know what happens when we flush this toilet. Over the next couple of minutes, I hope to bring you up to speed on exactly what happens. Everything from flushing toilets, washing dishes, washing clothes, taking showers, this all contributes to the wastewater flow of the city of Calgary. We are required by law to treat that effluent to acceptable standards before we discharge into the Bow River. This process is actually called uh, preliminary treatment. So preliminary treatment gets just rid of all the chunky material in the uh, in the wastewater, so it doesn't get plug up any of the pumps that are in the uh, in the main part of the wastewater treatment plant. Okay, what you're seeing now here is called the brick chamber. This treatment process removes all the sand and the grit from entering the rest of the plant. If this sand was allowed to enter the plant, it would eat up all the impellers of all the various pumps. The wastewater then gets discharged into a primary clarifier where all the organic chunky material settles to the bottom and the light floatable material floats to the top and is skimmed off. What you're seeing here is called the activated sludge process. This sort of brown chocolate milk like consistency is about 99% bacteria and it's this bacteria that eat all the organic material in the incoming wastewater. The process that we have here in Calgary is uh, one of the best processes in the world. To meet their approvals, they have to disinfect their wastewater before discharging into the river. And they use uh, UV light here to kill their residual bacteria in their effluent. There's lots of responsibility when it comes to being an environmental engineer. We're responsible for treating water so that we can drink it and also responsible for treating the waste that we generate before it's returned back into the Bow River. I hope you've enjoyed the last couple of minutes. I've got to get back to the lab now.